Today's commercial with our client has stained this company image. Our VIP client simply asks you a question. You can read people's lips, right? So, why can you understand her? Why didn't you get the response? I don't speak deaf. Um, excuse me. Uh, I can speak a little bit. Somewhere. So maybe I can help. You are just lucky. My assistant is here. You speak. Oh, um, she's saying that no one wants to help her at the time. And she didn't bring her pen and papers with her, so that's what happened with the client. You are just giving me excuses for your incompetence. That's it. I'm gonna fire you for good. Because I don't want someone like you to work at my department anymore. She's questioning me why you want to find her when she has been working with the company for five years without any promotion. I cannot trust you. What if the same problem happens again? And there's nothing for you to help you. Oh, you are useless, lah. She says she always can go early and she can help the emails and writing for work. No. I have other people who can do the same thing like you do. I will repeat the same mistake again, she said. And do not hire her from the company. I can't believe this. Do you think this is the first time I receive this kind of report from our client? Just be grateful that I keep you until now. It's too complicated. You cannot speak or hear. I also have a busy schedule. I'm not going to let you waste my time. And I don't want to trouble myself learning sign language. Oh, let me guess. You want her to translate everything you say? This is just a coincidence. Do you expect me to waste company's money for a translator only for you? I won't have it. You know what? This conversation alone is tiring me out. Just pack your thing and leave. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am the team leader for today's discussion. My name is Rasha Sinahuda. These are my teammates. My name is Anissa Fina Binti Asmadi. My name is Nursha Dewi Ismail. I'm Nur Sabrina Binti Mama Arafix. And my name is Ala Farsha Binti Abubakar Siti. All right. So, what is our discussion for today? Based on the video that we just shown, our topic will be on chapter 7, which is intercultural communication. And we are going to focus on prejudices, to be precise, prejudices towards the verbally disabled workers. Before we start our discussion, I would like to brief on what is intercultural communication and what is prejudices. Intercultural communication is the information between individuals who are unalike culturally. Prejudices, on the other hand, is the preconceived opinion that is not based on reason or actual experiences. So, let's begin our discussion. So, I would like to give as the first commenters to give my point of view. 
So based on the video, I think that the causes of prejudice to verbally impaired workers are because disabled workers be more inconvenience in the workplace. I believe that their disability and health issue become problems since they require more help from others to manage a problem that they may not be able to solve on their own. It will be more difficult for people to deal with the problem of these disabled people. For example, we can see in the video that the managers struggle to understand their needs and thoughts. It will be more difficult and complicated for them to perform in a team if they have problems expressing their own requirements and opinions. So, I would say that uh, these able workers can cause more inconvenience in the workplace. Moreover, these disabilities can cause a deficiency in the workplace. This is because there will be more problems between the manager and the disabled workers. Due to their physical complication, uh, disabled workers will require more help and support from others. And for your information, disabled people have a better safety record. Better safety record means that uh, they have a few things that they can and cannot do because of their own limitation in doing something. And as a result, they are unable to perform well at work and I think it will slow down the task that leading to a negative impact on the department's reputation. So, I would say that their disability causes a more deficiency in the workplace. Thank you, Anis, for your opinion. But I think the prejudice toward verbally impaired workers happen because most companies in Malaysia are unable to give privileges toward the disabled workers especially to the deaf. This will lead uh, the verbally impaired workers to have the need for a third party to help them communicate. Uh, companies are the one that actually uh, is responsible to maintain their employees' well-being regardless of their condition. For example, uh, they should hire an assisting machinery to ease the communicating process. Uh, the company should also make it clear and stated that they are recruit a verbally impaired employee and of course it is their responsibility to give further notice to the client regarding the matter. This would help uh, those who are in need, thus assist them to communicate better and avoid any possible uh, miscommunication to happen between the worker and the client. Um, other than that, we can consider that this action shows that many companies is avoiding to take the risk of hiring uh, verbally impact workers and the consequences to the action is that the increasing numbers of unemployment among the disabled in Malaysia as you know, there's a lot of things that company can make it happen to help the disabled employee, employee as long as there's initiative to help. But the prejudice toward the verbally in, uh, impaired workers has made them very wary of them. That's all for me. Uh, yeah, I understand your uh, opinion, Sha, but however, I agree with Anis point of view as prejudice can be caused by apparent communication that is caused by the worker. So a communication barrier means that anything that prevent us from receiving and understanding the messages that others use to convey information, ideas and thoughts. So for this situation, it is under language barrier as usually verbally as usually, verbally impaired people communicate using sign language and in Malaysia, not many, many people are exposed uh, to sign language as it is not compulsory to learn it. So this makes it harder for other people to understand them as they are communicating in different languages. So, for example, a disabled worker is asking his colleague who cannot understand sign language to print out something because his printer is broken. So, thus, the the disabled worker needs to find some other initiative to make his colleague understand what he is trying to say. So not only that, because of the communication barrier, the communication itself will become more complicated and time consuming. And as I mentioned in my example before, see how does the disabled person takes time to make his colleague understand what he is trying to say because of his colleague do not know and uh, do not know sign language. So verbally impact workers need to prepare devices or tools ready all the time as they do encounter with normal people who do not know, uh, who does not have any knowledge about sign language more frequently than those who knows. 
So some of the tools that they usually prepare, they usually prepare are notebooks, pencils, hearing aids, or using their phones that, uh, to text the other person so that they can understand them. However, this method is time consuming, which makes it harder for both parties as they needed more time and things just to communicate on the simple things. Thank you, Sabrina. Uh, I understand your reasoning. Nevertheless, my take regarding the situation is I will be siding with uh, the verbally impaired workers regarding the prejudices towards them. I believe the problem here is due to the manager's lack of trust with the disabled worker because it does not make sense. The phrase um, that were said to the worker, which is I can't trust you by the manager, is um, being impartial because um, the phrase does not apply only to verbally disabled but us uh, perfectly speaking and uh, listening people can also break the trust that were given to us so um, the worker only also said that she was not given any promotion for five years and she only worked as a print printing worker right. so um, I dare say that this is uh, an insult especially the worker is an experienced worker for five years because the manager is giving such trivial tasks to her which is printing uh, if we uh, if you can see even interns make complaints uh, if they were given a uh, printing work so um, if the condition of the worker disabled worker is vice versa whereby she can listen and speak perfectly without a doubt i'm sure that she will be given a better promotion if not a better work uh, job so um the trust that were mentioned by the manager cannot be uh, accepted as a statement but is a mere prejudice toward the disabled worker um the consequences the aftermath of the action will be uh, the <coughs> verbally impaired workers will be belated because of their disability despite of them being capable to work. Uh, the stigma brought upon for generation and even to the future generation about disabled workers will give them a negative view towards disabled people uh, thinking that they are less capable or worse are uh, not qualified to hold a position as workers simply because they are less fortunate than most of us. Let's look from their point of view. If we were to walk in the same shoes as them, what would it feel like to uh, look, be looked down upon ourselves, knowing better than anyone else that we are capable, we are equal, and maybe are better than some normal person? Back to the scene. If the manager is simply trying to right the wrongs, then she should be able to at least show some, some compassion or even a little bit understanding instead of lashing out, firing, and downgrading the worker. So uh, I've um, I have heard some uh, agreement and opposition to the cause of uh, prejudices to a visible, uh, verbally disabled worker. Uh, we need to come into an agreement and also to have a possible solution to this problem. So after hearing all of your opinions and points, in my opinion, I hope to find uh, the solution that I hope that we can solve this problem. So in my opinion, I think we can suggest to the company to create a convenient workspace for their disabled workers, whether they are verbally or hearing impaired, or maybe even both. It is understandable that some companies are unable to provide translators to these workers as they may not have the budget for it. So I guess to remedy this, why not have the workers to be out of reach from the clients or the customers? If you look back at the problem, it only occurred after the worker was faced with a client who um, does not understand sign language at all. So that's creating miscommunication between the two. So in order to avoid, to avoid this to happen again, companies should consider to have them do jobs that does not require them to communicate with that many people, especially when it comes, when it comes about clients or customers. However, the worker should also be able to reach out to other co-workers if need be and vice versa. And maybe we can also provide them um, certain gadgets which uh, that the company can invest in specialized devices which have been invented over the years for these disabled workers such as alerting devices which can connect to their laptops or mobile phones or maybe an alarm near them that makes a loud sound or blinking light to alert someone with hearing loss which in this case is what we're discussing about know that something is happening around them 
So not only will it be convenient for them, but to their co-workers as well. And so it's a win-win situation in my opinion. And furthermore, I want to add in that instead of them using just a regular pen and paper, why not provide them with modern tablets that we all use now, which has many advantages. They are easy to use when communicating, they are less time consuming, and they can even save these raw materials, which in this case are the pen and paper. So, all right, Alia, I acknowledge your opinion. And may I add some points that I want to share that the public also can improve themselves to help the disabled community because the prejudices towards verbally impact does not only happen in workplace but also in public. So, I want to suggest that the higher ups could create a wider scope suitable for the disabled community as we can all agree that those who are disabled are more than capable to do daily stuff just like us despite them relying on certain devices and the least we could do is to make this possible for them is uh, for them to be employed is that uh, is that uh, giving them a chance or uh, many suitable jobs and careers for those with this disabled physically this physical disabilities such as in marketing, sales, uh, even in human resources. So moreover, we should also spread awareness about this particular issue in order for the public to be more understanding. And we can accomplish this by proving that those with uh, disabilities are fully capable to be hired and are able to do their jobs regularly just like their other colleagues. And furthermore, I want to address that Sign language should be a compulsory subject in school so that the younger generation can be exposed and learn how to sign uh, and can be exposed and learn how to sign together with the uh, disabled community. And thus, this can help the next generation in communicating with the disabled as well as forming and for as well as forming trust between the two sides and to stop this kind of prejudices in the future. I am glad that um, there are some opinions and discussion regarding who is the cause and what is the cause and uh, effect regarding the matter which is prejudices to vulnerable impact workers. And I appreciate all of the suggested uh, problem solution. So uh, we can now collectively agree that either way prejudices towards the uh, disabled workers or even any kind of prejudices should not be uh, taken lightly and which we need to take uh, the life of the disabled workers uh, as a center of attention. We should not take it granted. So we can now close our discussion. Thank you for joining today's discussion. I really appreciate it. Thank you.